Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24 and thank you for joining us for another Marvel Champions unboxing. Today we have the hero pack for Storm, um, obviously starting to round out our uh, mutant uh, phase. So um, quite an interesting choice, obviously one of the more original X-Men. Um, so we're going to get straight in and have a look at what her weather powers are going to be. Um, but to start off with, as always, we get the poster um, on the back. We have got um, some new keywords in relation to the weather icons that's going to be going on in Storm Deck. So um, we will get into that. Well, let's try and see if we can get through this. Apologies there. So straight off, we have Aurora Munro. Um, Aurora Munro begins the game with a weather deck. See the inserts, so I'll explain a bit more on that. And then to set up, choose a weather from the support and put it into play. Uh, three recovery, six hand size, 10 hit points. So fairly average there. Then we have the one, two, one line with weather control, uh, action, swap your weather support in play. With the support you choose from the weather deck, Resolve the special ability, whether and it's limited once per round. So we're not going to be pushing through too much with that. Um, obviously doing it once a round, sort of, unless we get to um, we get into the rest of the deck. So we do have four different types of um, support. So we've got um, clear skies. Each character gains store and the special ability to draw a card. Then we've got a hurricane. Each character gains retaliate one and the special for removing two threat from the scheme. Uh, Thunderstorm, each character gains plus one attack and deal two damage to an enemy. And then Blizzard, each character gets minus one attack, choose a non-elite minion until the end of the round, treat that minion's text as if it was blank. So we're going to be doing a lot with those and then you're going to be using them in very special circumstances. So um, that's quite nice, really versatile bit of setup there for her. So um, and obviously we're going to be looking at a lot of what that's going to hold in her special specific cards so we have storm's crown um storm gets plus one thought uh hero response exhaust the crown to generate a printed resource on your weather um so each of the weather comes with a different one um the clear skies comes with wild so that could be quite useful and then we have storm's cape which is another upgrade um storm gains plus one defense and gains the aerial trait a hero response after you resolve the special ability on your weather support exhaust storms cape to ready storm okay then we have aurora's garden and an aura ego action exhaust the garden to heal two damage for your identity which is quite nice uh then we have three copies of weather goddess for an action swap your hero weather support in the play with the support of your choice from the weather deck resolve a special ability on your weather support in play so there we are we're getting into that multiple uses of that weather deck three copies of torrential rain so uh, move three threat from the schemes in play if hurricane is in play resolve its special ability uh, two copies of lightning bolt uh, which is dealing eight damage to an enemy and if it's in play uh, resolve uh, sorry if thunderstorm is in play resolve its special ability uh, two copies of flash freeze um, with the defense, if the villain attacks you, the villain and each minion engage with you gets minus three attack whilst attacking you in his phase. And if Blizzard's in play, resolve its special ability. So, again, quite nice there. And then finally, we have Blast of Wind, um, which is choosing the player, deal three damage to the villain, for each minion engage with that player, and then resolve the special ability on your weather support. So, got a lot of versatility in which one of those that we're going to be um, using to uh, pick that up so out of the box storm is a leadership aspect so we start off with havoc so big four cost with three health and when it attacks discard the top card of the encounter deck for each boost icon discarded this way havoc gets plus one attack for this attack and takes one plus one consequential damage so it could be nice to finish a big sort of flurry um in there then we have mirage um response after mirage enters play choose an enemy whose scheme is less than the mirage's thwart and then stun it so quite nice but quite situational then we have gentle 
Gentleman takes plus one consequential damage after he attacks the villain, so it might be very useful to be picking on minions. Uh, copy of Pixie. After you play Pixie from your hand, add an X-Men ally from your discard pile to your hand. And then three copies of Uncanny X-Men. Play under the player's control, any player's control and max one per team card per player. Each of your X-Men allies gets plus one hit point. If your character has the X-Men trait, each of your X-Men allies costs one fewer left to play. Really useful in the leadership aspect. Um, three copies of leadership skill and one cost upgrade. Um, uses three counters. And when an ally makes a basic thwart or basic attack action, remove one leadership counter from here, and that ally gets plus one thwart and plus one attack for the action. So it's going to be great to pump up some of your allies there. And then it's three copies of, to me, my X Men. Uh, play only if you have the X Men trait. Search the top five cards of your deck for an X Men ally and put it into play. If that ally is still in play area at the end of the phase, add it to your hand. So it's going to be picking it up. Um, so it's a good bit of fetching. Um, nice to put it out to get one use out of it, but you'll be picking it out back up without damage on it. So maybe Havoc could be quite interesting there. We've got two copies of Effective Leadership. So it is wild and interrupt when you spend this card to play an ally. That ally gets plus one thought and plus one attack until the end of phase. So quite useful if we're going to be able to ready them a lot. And we go into our basics. Um, we have Forge. Nice to see Forge. Um, force response. Um, sorry, response. After Forge enters play, search your deck and discard pile for an X Men or X Force support. Add it to your hand. We've got the X Jet. So exhaust the X Jet, generate a wild resource for a player whose identity has the X Men trait. Utopia. Each of your allies has the X Men trait. Increase your ally limit by one. Um, so bumping up the amount we're going to be getting out with Storm. Um, after an X-Men ally enters play, exhaust Utopia and ready an X-Men character. And we have the Expansion. Uh, exhaust the Expansion, heal one damage from a mutant or X-Men character. Any player whose alter ego has the mutant trait may trigger this ability. Okay. And we have three Endurance. Uh, play under any player's control and you get plus three hit points. And then we have our, obviously, newly um, designed three set of um, energy, genius, and strength um, with new art on those. So there we go. That's those. So on to the obligation. So we've got claustrophobia. And we're going to flip that uh, to the alter ego form. You cannot change forms. And then as an alter ego action, exhaust Aurora Monroe to remove it from the game. Absolutely. Um, then we are straight into Callisto with Quick Strike, and so it's going to come straight in and attack him for three. When a knife fight treachery is revealed, give Callisto a tough status card. So uh, then we've got Leader of the Morlocks. Uh, the player who defeated this scheme searches the encounter deck and discard pile, sets aside area for a knife fight, and reveals it. Yeah. Uh, we've got Switchblade. Attach to the minion with the highest pointed attack, printed attack. Otherwise, this card gains Surge. Attach minion, attack, gain piercing. That's going to be quite painful. Then we do have two copies of Knife Fight, which we've obviously already been referenced. This card gains Surge in Alter Ego, or in Hero, choose an enemy with the highest attack. Take damage equal to its attack. Deal attack damage to that enemy equal to your attack. So it could be useful if you've got some low value minions on the board, but also it could be quite painful if you're taking that extra damage. So that is the obligation and nemesis. Um, let's get those out of the way. Then we go, obviously, we've got our deck list for Storm and then our additional cards. So we have three copies of Hangar Bay, which is protection, max one per player. After an ally defends against an attack and is not defeated, exhaust this card and ready that ally. So it's quite nice um, to really push through a little bit more in that protection and getting real, real use out of readying those back up. So big bodies. Then we have the Shadow King um, encounter set. So while a controlled minion is play, the Shadow King cannot take damage. And it's got six damage anyway, so it's going to be quite heavy to hit. Um, when revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a copy of the possessed attachment and reveal it. And we have got Ruler of the Astral Plane. When defeated, discard one copy of possessed from play. Boost 
if you are engaged with a controlled minion, reveal this card. Okay, so we've got two copies of Possessed. Treat attached ally as controlled minion with the blank text box, attached minion scheme is equal to its printed thwart and it does not take consequential damage. When revealed, attach the ally with the lowest thwart without possessed attached. If you cannot, this card reads search. It's going to be taking a hold of your uh, allies that are in play, um, which is going to push through the encounter deck. And lastly, we have Astral Attack, which is a treasury. Uh, when revealed, each controlled minion activates against you. If there are no controlled minions in play, this card gains surge. Um, and then shuffle each of Shadow King's cards from the discard pile into the account deck. So overall, um, a nice set. I also quite like this encounter set. Hopefully um, it's going to be quite useful. But that was Storm, the hero pack from Marvel Champions. If you haven't done so already, check out our other videos on the channel. Give us a like and a subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Take care.